Hi everyone, so my name is Carly Boudreaux and this summer for the Explore Internship uh, I was at Iberville Parish 4-H office and so I uh, stayed with the, um, the agent there all summer uh, participating in different activities and going to different camps and we were very busy all summer. We were barely in the office so uh, it was a really good experience. So, and uh, my mentors were uh, the agent in Iberville, Miss Laura and Dr. Jana Fox. So uh, just a little background. Uh, I'm a senior here at LSU. My major is in agriculture education and extension and evaluation. And through the Explore internship that I completed at Iberville Parish, um, I attended parent member meetings before we went to 4-H camp to ensure that their little ducklings are going to be okay with us for the summer and for the uh, duration of the trips. Um, and I attended 4-H at the Capitol, 4-H University, 4-H camp, junior leader retreat, and state record book judging. I assisted with practice for the 4-H University contest, and I attended and taught a lesson at the junior leader retreat. And I also attended the Southwest Regional Volunteer and Leadership Training in Lafayette. So just a little more background. Um, some of you may not know, what is 4-H? 4-H is America's largest youth development organization that empowers young people with the skills to lead for a lifetime. It provides hands-on opportunities for youth to learn more about themselves and the world around them. It provides them to learn about healthy lifestyles, dealing with livestock, um, career exploration, and it gives them a really family feeling environment. So my first day, actually third day as an intern, we did, uh, we went to 4-H Day at the Capitol. So it was here in Baton Rouge at the state capitol. And 4-H members had the opportunity to visit with local legislators tour the Capitol and to see what's behind the closed doors, to see what actually goes on in the Capitol. Um, and so a then after the Capitol uh, tour, our 4-H members participated in the College of Ag scavenger hunt at LSU. So, and they, I think they really enjoyed that because they got to go around campus to see all the different uh, buildings and what's all about LSU. And so, of course, I was nominated to be the leader of our pack around LSU. Um, and I led our group around to the scavenger hunt, and then they got to learn more about history of LSU and uh, more about the College of Ag. So, and there's just some pictures of our kids that we took in front of the Capitol, and then two little spots that we had to um, take pictures of during our scavenger hunt. And then our next big uh, event was 4-H University. 4-H University was held at, here at LSU campus, and it was uh, mainly for 4-H members 9th through 12th grade. And they participated in many different contests, uh, ranging from photography to child development to um, forestry, public speaking, uh, pretty much all over. Um, and they also did Clover College, which is a, like you, uh, it wasn't like more of a contest. It was just sort of like kind of uh, things that they could go to to learn more about different uh, parts and different careers. Um, so before 4-H University, I coached uh, our 4-H members uh, at contest practices. So, um, I was able to coach some of the uh, our ag demo kids who were ag de or demoing um, how to uh, administer um, medicine to goats. So, and I have a history of goats, so it was really cool to see the them taking interest in that, and it was really cool. And then we also got to work with a student of ours that. Um, she did public speaking on cooperatives and she ended up winning the state contest. So it was really rewarding for us and we had a great uh, experience working with her. Um, so, and I also prepared uh, demonstration props and uh, student paperwork before attending 4-HU because you have to have all that paperwork, that health paperwork to, you know, make sure that anything happens, you have to be prepared. And then I, we, me and the mentor, uh, my mentor, we uh, both like planned a schedule for the entire trip. 
uh, including departure times, pickup times, and assembly uh, agenda to make sure we all had our set schedule and everybody was where they needed to be. So, and I also had the opportunity of assisting with a special needs for each member throughout the week, which is something very new to me and I had never experienced before. And it was a really eye-opening experience to deal with a special needs child in 4-H and be able to accommodate her and make her have a great experience just like everybody else. So it was really cool. And these are some pictures uh, that was from the stage right there. That was one of our, um, one of our 4-H members who ran for state office and he actually won. So he's, our, he's a state parliamentarian, so we're really proud of him. Um, and then in the bottom right, that was our Ag Demo kids practicing on one of their little sister uh, as their uh, goat. And then, <laughs> and then uh, right above was two of our kids who participating in a cooking contest. And then up there uh, on the left is me with uh, two of our kids at uh, one of our uh, dinners. So next was 4-H camp, uh, camp Grant Walker, um, and it was in Pollock, Louisiana. It was a week-long camp, and it was for 4th, 5th, and 6th graders who participated in educational tracks, supervised afternoon recreation activities, and free time uh, like dancing or sports or whatever uh, was available. So. My job was I was supervising the outdoor adventures track, which included um, being on the rifle range, archery, and ATVs. So in the picture right here, you can see that that was a rifle uh, instructor who was showing them about rifle safety, how to, um, the different rifles to use, and how to properly shoot the rifle. And then right next to it was the ATV, which we had other instructors helping with them on how to properly uh, operate an ATV, the ATV safety, and um, just overall on how to operate ATVs, um, even, at their, even at their house. Um, and so also another job, I had to work at the camp store as a cashier uh, during recreation time, which was, uh, fun <laughs> and I supervised the nightly dances during free time which is also very fun and very entertaining um, and then I also when you're having kids away from home for a week at a time you're gonna have some kids who are gonna get homesick so you have to be like a little mama to them and make sure to let them know that everything's gonna be okay and so I also had to encourage kids to participate in daily activities and help them to step out, step out of their comfort zones because uh, camp is all about uh, building, those, building those life skills. And if they can build them that young, then you know, it'll carry them forever. And just to get them to step out of that comfort zone and do new things is, is really beneficial. So next, I uh, did the junior leader retreat, which is where we took uh, some of our junior leaders from Iberville and some of, the Iber some of the junior leaders from St. Martin, and we had a joint junior leader retreat. So it was held in St. Mar Martin Parish, and the junior leaders took part in several leadership and team building activities. So they, did, they went through several um, lessons that the other agents taught and then we did uh, many activities about team building, leadership, and getting them to work with each other and be able to lead their own uh, junior leader organizations. So in my job during the retreat, I developed and taught a lesson on self-discipline and self-control, which is very, very useful to them, even though if they don't know it or knew it. But um, so it was really cool to uh, work with them and uh, be able to show them why this is so important. And so I also led an activity that tested their self-control, which is called the candy test. And basically it was based on a study um, that, I, uh, that I read about that if uh, this professor did a study on some kids that he gave every kid a candy and then he said he was gonna leave the room or he gave them toys and he like left the room for like 20 minutes. So if he came back and they ate their candy, they couldn't have another one at the end. But if they waited and they 
didn't eat their, can their first candy, when he came back later, they could have another one. So it was all about self-control, and it was kind of just a little something to do with them to teach them just a little how to do, uh, have more self-control in their daily life. And at the end, it was a, a three-day retreat, like two nights. And so each the two nights, we also had a kind of like fun time. So they had to go to Sky Zone and bowling the other night. So it was really cool. And then lastly, I attended the Southwest Region Volunteer and Leadership Training. So it was for 4-H members, club, member, club leaders, and volunteers who learned how to spice up the 4-H program during several workshops. So it was something for them to take back to their parishes to uh, lead their clubs and provide for a better learning experience for them. So um, me and the, the 4-H agent uh, from Riverville, we had a little table set up, and so we uh, informed volunteers and club leaders how to incorporate literacy into their 4-H programs and provided them with several different resources uh, to carry out unique lessons um, that she's done and then some others that are, uh, that are really beneficial. So, and we also uh, participated in multiple activities to uh, strengthen my own leadership skills and teamwork skills, so I got to participate in that as well with the kids and uh, adult volunteers. So it was a really good experience. So in conclusion, um, the critical competencies that I worked on uh, over the summer were planning, dealing with amb ambiguity, learning on the fly, strategic agility, and conflict management. So there was a lot, a lot of planning for the entire summer. I don't think uh, you can be a forage agent without planning anything. <laughs> so uh, I learned a lot about uh, how to plan better and uh, ahead of time and for all the different events with all these kids. So I used that at 4-HU, 4-H camp, and junior leader retreat. And I had to deal with ambiguity at 4-HU and 4-H camp because uh, I had never been to 4-HU or camp so it was a really uh, eye-opening experience having to uh, deal with so many new things. And just along with uh, learning on the fly, had to, you know, learn how to adapt to different environments and work with kids who are, you know, not like each other and uh, just a lot of different things to uh, learn quickly. And uh, strategic agility, I learned at State 4-H Record Books because um, that was also new to me too. Um, so I was asking a lot of questions, a lot of, form a lot of agents were there, so they helped me out to learn and un understand this process. Um, so it was really, really informing. And conflict management, which is, I think, a big thing uh, that I've learned. Um, <laughs> no matter if it was at camp or uh, just um, in other places throughout the whole summer, like you just, you know, having to deal with conflict between the campers, even the staff, and then uh, between agents that you've, you know, witnessed. So it taught me a lot about um, about working with others and you know the different age gaps and uh, how to blend it all together. So overall, um, career change. I'm still undecided what I want to do, <laughs> but I'm not ruling out a 4-H agent because it is such a great career, and uh, I've learned so much. And uh, I think the main thing that I took away from this is that I really like in working with the younger kids the most because they're just the cutest things ever. <laughs> so, uh, but overall, it was a great experience, and uh, I'm super uh, thankful for this opportunity and the internship to uh, have done it. So, thank you.